Hello, and welcome back to this edition of Daily Actives, brought to you by Bootleg Macro. I'm Dustin. We are going to be looking at the most active stocks that exist on all of Yahoo Finance. We've already reviewed NVIDIA. Now we're going to be looking at GSAT. I don't even know what GSAT is. Let's go ahead and take a quick gander around the pond here. If you haven't seen my videos before, I am showing you how to be able to use Google Finance data because it is free. It is timely. Sometimes it sucks, but that's the problem when you get free. So if we look here, it looks like the data that's coming in, wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. Did we really have a 73% update today? But I guess when you're looking at a penny stock, is this real? Let's look at this. Yeah, it's $1.82. I mean, I'm going to review this, but just to let you know, you penny traders who are clearly here just hunting on my videos for a little bit of edge. There's none to be found here. This is a ridiculous move. I can't really condone this, but I'm going to give you some help anyways. The thing that I like is that this has essentially had blue lettering with a white background for the better part of the month, or at least the most recent weeks. The reason why is because that means it's three standard deviations below its 23 day moving average. When you have the blue background with the black lettering, that means it's two standard deviations below, but the price now at 182 is now above its five day and it's 23 day moving average. The volume, boys and girls, let's talk about this volume. What is insane to me, you see the red lettering with the white background, that means it's three standard deviations above its trending volume. When you see these volume spikes, that means that each of these days is higher than the 10 day moving average of the volume. And obviously you're getting 117 million shares traded today on a stock that is under $2. That's a crazy amount of volume. This thing was up 73% on a one day. It's up 65% on a five day, up 52% on a 15 day, 55% on a one month, 55% on a three month and 51% on a six month. Now, normally I would consider that to be a phenomenal signal, but because of the type of move that we're seeing and the size of the, 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 the stock itself, I don't even know what the market cap is. Let's just do a quick gander at the market cap. Yeah, it doesn't even have a market cap. So like, I honestly have no idea what to consider this thing. Let's just go ahead and look really quickly at Yahoo Finance if I want to get an idea. Okay, 3.4 billion. I don't know what this is. Looks, oh, Apple's going to invest 1.5 billion into this thing. That's fantastic, I guess. If we just go ahead and look at the real data here, though, uh, you can see this thing has essentially been go short in the short term, intermediate term, and longer term. It's been bearish in the short term, intermediate term, and longer term. We have seen a little bit of bullishness start to show up. Obviously, short term bullishness. Somebody knew something. Somebody always knows something. Let's go ahead and look at what we see in the falling bear. Now, if there is one setup that I would say is the most convincing when you're going to see a, a result like this is this indicator. So this indicator is generally a consideration between bullishness and bearishness inside of an individual uh, stock. It shows essentially the sentiment of the overall market. Now, this indicator has trouble going above 60%. It has trouble going below 40%. When you're at 41.9, and you get that kind of a catalyst, there is nothing but vaporization that happens for those shorts. If you were short this thing, you're dead. Um, now, if we look at where the overall, um, look at the signals, looks like we got a buy signal back here on the 16th. That would have been good, but you were getting a bunch of bear key threes, which to me is not convincing. If you're looking at all these signals, the falling peak, the big bear, the small bear, the one month bear trigger, I would have not bought this, but you know what? That's why if you're here and you're laughing at me because you made all the money, congratulations to you. We look at the chart. This has been essentially a, a long ride to nowhere. We're looking at the overall trending sentiment. You can see the exact same thing that we looked at on the short term one. This is at 41%. We're looking at that volume. God damn, that is a lot of volume because 117 million shares traded in one day clearly is above the significant average, which has been, I don't know, two and a half million, maybe three million. I mean, even on the one day, like we saw this back in September of 2021, this thing traded looks like 1 billion shares in a week it's going to register. I mean, like here, this isn't going to be because this is weekly. The week hasn't closed yet. This week here is going to be a ridiculous week. I'm not saying you're going to get to a billion shares traded in a week, but you're probably going to get to 250 million. I mean, it's not going to be that difficult. So maybe 500 million is in the cards. But look at the volatility here. As expected, you're going to see a ridiculous move. This was trendingly lower volatility. The volatility is going to start breaking out. The correlation just snapped and slapped negative. Now, I don't like that. What I'd prefer to see is that we're going to see tomorrow a rise in the volatility correlation so that it goes up as the volatility starts to go up. But most likely, the price is going to go sideways to down. So what you're going to see is that this volatility is going to continue to fall. The correlation is going to be negative, and the price is going to go sideways to up. Uh, now, when we look at the range, obviously there's nothing to really read here. The top of the range currently is $1.30. The bottom of the range is $1.97. Because that volatility is probably going to continue to break out. Uh, no, maybe. This, you're going to have to give it a few days, and I wouldn't even take this, I would take this completely with a grain of salt at the moment. The reason why is because, if we're being serious, the only thing that we're looking at here in this stock is a massive breakout. Just above its trade level, it's above, I mean, again, this is... There's really not much to gain here. The only thing I would say is if you're going to be honest, like if there's anything that I can give you, this is going to be what I'm going to tell you. So if you're going to look at Gast, I would say, be, uh, you don't even have enough data because this isn't even like, this hasn't even been around long enough. Let's go ahead and look at this. Yeah, this hasn't even been around long enough. Actually, we can get this updated. Let's go ahead and update this. 
let's go ahead and do this. This is this is going to update, so at least we get potentially ugh, the problem here is that you don't even have the data coming through for what it was. So we're going to hide this. We're going to go ahead and look. You're going to probably have a stop. I, yeah, you can't even. The problem with this kind of thing is because it's so small. And again, this is what I keep mentioning about how Google Finance data is not always the best. It's actually why I built this indicator here. The reason why I built this here is because this is from an actual API. It has the most important parts of my actual model built into a specific Chrome extension. If you're interested, feel free to follow along, subscribe to the channel, do all these things. I use this from time to time. Um, but I think that this is probably, you're gonna wanna use, I would say use 133 as your stop for the moment. I honestly think you're gonna need at least another week or so for the data to kind of like coalesce into some reasonable range. But tell me what you think in the comments below. Are you long, are you short? Do you like it, do you love it? Is this even a good review? And before you go, subscribe to the new high newsletter. I send you 25 stocks to your inbox every single Sunday. Stocks breaking out to one year high, stocks breaking out to all time high, stocks between five and $20. It's a great list to get your trading week started. I'll talk to you soon.